Hi, would you like to learn more about neural network programming in Java? If so, you might be interested in following along with this course that we're going to be offering here on YouTube and other formats as well. Hi, my name is Jeff Heaton. I am the author of Introduction to Neural Networks with Java. I also have a C-sharp version of this book out and we will probably offer a C-sharp class as well if there is sufficient interest. This will be organized just like a college course. I've taught college courses in the past, so this will be kind of a new format to see if we can bring the courses online using YouTube. We'll follow a syllabus just like we would a regular college course. This class will follow the book very closely. The first class will begin with an introduction to what a neural network is and what they're used for. It will continue with class 2, which will expand upon that by showing you how to use matrices. Matrices, like you see here, are commonly used with neural network programming. They often form the basis of the weight matrix. Class 3 will continue with a Hopfield neural network. You can see a Hopfield neural network here. This is one of the most simple forms of neural network. This chapter will also introduce the Delta Rule and Hebb's Rule. These are two learning methods for neural networks. Class 4 will continue with feedforward backpropagation neural networks. You can see a feedforward neural network here. The feedforward neural network is one of the most commonly used neural network formats available. Backpropagation is actually a method used to train neural networks. However, backpropagation is not the only method available for training neural networks. Class 5 will show how to use genetic algorithms to train neural networks. It will also introduce the traveling salesman problem. You'll be assigned a program in Class 1. Class 6 will be used exclusively to discuss this program. Class 7 will introduce simulated annealing. Simulated annealing, like backpropagation and genetic algorithms, is yet another way of training the feedforward neural network. Class 8 will discuss the midterm, which will be assigned at this point. This will give you a way to check your progress in the class up to this point. Class 9 will introduce how to prune a neural network. Feedforward neural networks have many layers and neurons, and not all of these are necessary all of the time. This class will show you how to intelligently determine how many neurons should be in the hidden layers of a neural network. Class 10 will introduce predictive neural networks. Predictive neural networks can be used to predict the future, or at least attempt to predict the future. We'll begin simple by trying to predict the sine wave. The sine wave is completely repetitive and easy to predict, but the neural network doesn't know this, so it will attempt to establish patterns in the sine wave and predict it. Class 11 will show how to apply neural networks to the S&P 500 or at least how to attempt to predict the S&P 500. Class 12 will introduce the self-organizing map, or the Koenig neural network. This neural network is used to group data into logical groups. Class 13 will show a practical application of the Koenig neural network. This will be optical character recognition, or OCR. You will see how to create a simple application that can recognize handwriting. Class 14 will combine a topic that I've written other books on, which is bot programming with neural networks. You will see how to create a bot that can scan for a famous person and attempt to read those web pages and determine when that famous person was born. Class 15 will discuss the future of neural networks. That will conclude this class. Each class session will be YouTube video that you can view on your own computer. You will also be provided with sample programs and other data related to each class session. We hope you find this class interesting. Thank you.